Most dreams die in how? It's not that you don't have a great idea. You feel me already, right? It's, it's not that you don't have a great idea and a great concept. It's the process. Like, I don't, I, I just get frustrated even trying to do this. And, 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 and when we run into all of that tension and that pressure, the how is when your interest meets your ignorance. And it doesn't mean you're ignorant. It just means, it just means you don't know how that works. Because every vision will take you from what you know to where you're trying to go, but it always takes you through a place you've never been. You understand what I'm saying? So you move from the familiar to the unknown, but you must, you move from the familiar to the desire, but you must walk through the unknown. And when you walk through the unknown, you start running in the, in the, in the complications, and you're like, and most people, most people that I'm talking to today, that I'm assigned to talk to today, your vision is sitting somewhere in a file called, I don't know how. I just don't know how. If I ever, Pastor, if I ever can figure out how to do it, if I ever, it's a wonderful idea. And everybody you talk to, you talk to about it, and you really are clear on what? You're clear on the what? You're even clear on the problem as opposed to, uh, which is, I just don't know how. And so it's in a file, it's on a laptop, it's on a hard drive, it's in a closet, it's in a binder, it's in a journal, it's in your head, stuck in a place called house. 